worked in public affairs and communications for about 17 years now. And last year, I was really delighted to uh, be given the opportunity to take on a new role to manage Coca-Cola HPC's sustainable packaging agenda. Now, I knew there was going to be lots of new things to learn for sure, but I guess what I didn't realize that one of the biggest challenges and one of the biggest things that I had to learn uh, was in something that I thought that I was very experienced in and I could do well already, which was in leadership. When I moved into my new role, I found myself going from a country team with my own team of direct reports to this group-wide virtual team of people with no direct reports. So I couldn't tell people what to do anymore. In order to get things done, I actually had to influence people. But collaboration has always been one of my strong points. Uh, but for sure, over the last number of months, there has been times when I've challenged whether that really was the case at all. And this really came into focus for me uh, during the early parts of the lockdown. COVID hadn't changed our sustainable packaging priorities, but people were working in a very different way and suddenly had all these other priorities to juggle. I sat down and thought, what could I do differently? And I guess three things came to mind. First of all, it was to really try and listen to people. Secondly, it was to try to understand the perspective and, uh, of others and where they are coming from. And thirdly, just getting to know the different working styles uh, of other people, because not everybody is the same. And I guess what I really learned is that in order to collaborate properly, you can't over rely on one particular style. You've got to be flexible. My advice to anybody who looks at a job spec and uh, for something that they're interested in doing and thinks I don't have all of the, the skills or the experiences that they're asking is to really stop and challenge yourself because no matter what job you go into you're going to have to learn new things and sometimes even the skills that you do have you end up having to relearn. So either way you don't have to have every skill that's listed in order to apply and put yourself forward. Absolutely not. And remember, even sometimes the, you know, your so-called ignorance or lack of experience in an area can bring new ways of doing things that an experienced person wouldn't have actually thought of. My top tip is if you haven't got a good mentor already, go out and get one. They really do make such a difference. And if you're interested in changing or pivoting your career path, but you don't want to make a big leap, there are all sorts of projects of all shapes and sizes on Opportunity Marketplace. It really is worth having a look and giving it a try.